Hey, what's going on, Solar Family? How are you? Hopefully you're doing amazing. In this video, I wanna go over the roadmap to success in the solar industry, right? Because I think that a lot of consultants are bouncing around because they don't have a clear path on what they should be doing in every single step or stage that they're in, right? And everybody in this industry is in all different stages, meaning that maybe you just got started you know, a couple weeks ago, maybe you got started a couple months ago, maybe you've already been a closer for six, seven months, maybe a year, and everybody is in different stages, but I honestly feel when you're starting out, there's no clear understanding of what it's gonna take, like what steps is it gonna take to get to being successful in the solar industry, right? So I just, you know, Put these little dots here to represent the different like milestones right so at this point here right this is the starting point right this is where you're starting at right now but before i dive into this if you haven't scheduled your solar strategy call yet make sure you do that right it's gonna be a pop-up right above this video especially if you've just got started in the industry or maybe you want to get in the industry or you're growing a sales organization you need some help make sure you book that call right uh so you're here right now, right? And you're kind of wondering like, okay, so what do I do, right? I just started, what do I do? The first thing that you need to do is find a solar company, right? <laughs> um, not only find a solar company, right? Because I think a lot of people are getting started, they're looking for like the best commission, which is good, right? Obviously you want to get paid well, but you also want to be able to work with an amazing solar company. Right, so make sure first and foremost, right, you find the right solar company that you're going to represent, that you're gonna put your name behind, right? You're gonna, you're gonna represent that company. The second thing that you need once you find the right company is you need to be on a red line commission structure, right? And I have another video as well as far as red lines, right? But be on a red line. Don't take a W-2 position. Uh, don't take a certain percentage, whether that's 5% or 7%, whatever that is, right? You want to be on a red line. It's really, really, really crucial, right? Especially when you find the right solar company. And thirdly, right, once you're in the right solar company, make sure that you have the right mindset. Because this part here, in the starting point is where a lot of people fail because this is an amazing industry and this industry is changing a lot of lives not only homeowners lives but consultants lives as well but if you don't have the right mindset because maybe you're coming from a w2 position meaning that you know you're working for the man and you're not quite there as far as your mindset you can learn all the skill sets in the world but if your mindset's not right, unfortunately, you're not gonna get to the highest level that you should be in if you don't have the right mindset, right? So you have to have the right mindset because again, you are gonna be a 1099 employee. No one's gonna be calling you uh, to get up, right? To show up for work. You have to be disciplined enough to set a schedule, a day, a time when you're actually gonna work, right? Because what we see a lot in this industry is uh, you know, you're probably working as a W-2, 40, 50, 60 hours a week. And once you get in the solar industry, you're only putting in 20 hours a week, right? Doesn't quite make sense to me. But again, I think it's just the mindset, right? So that's the starting point, right? And where you want to be is way over there, right? That last dot is success, right? This is where you want to be, right? Success. And the next step is when you find a right good a good company find the right red line mindset is right make sure you set up the systems right so the next step would be crm customer relationship management tool what are you using to manage the leads that you're going to get because i honestly feel when you're a w2 well, excuse me when you're 1099 no longer w2 you have to run this business as a 1099 as a business because you, this is basically a micro business in the palm of your hands, right? Uh, and you have to run it like a business. So I honestly feel 
that's setting up the foundation of getting ready to receive the leads, right, uh, is a foundational skill or a, a, a asset that you need to establish before you start getting leads, right? So for example, if, if uh, I knew there was a drought coming and I know there's gonna be a big rainstorm, you know, in a couple weeks, I'm gonna dig a hole, right? I'm gonna dig a big hole so I can catch all the water that's gonna be from this rainfall, right? I'm not gonna wait till the rainfall and I'm gonna start digging a hole. I'm not gonna be able to get or capitalize or capture um, more, enough water, right? Then if I dug the hole beforehand, right? And then waited for the rain to come. And when that rain came, then it filled up this big, you know, reservoir of water, right? And I honestly feel this is a step that a lot of new consultants miss because again, you know, as a consultant, you're probably not going to run your business like a business, or maybe your sales trainer or somebody that's, you know, mentoring you doesn't teach you these things, right? Because they're probably not using it as well, right? So make sure that you have a CRM, uh, a tool, a software to manage your leads. It's critical before you, before you start getting leads, right? You want to have these foundational things set up. And if you're looking for a CRM, make sure you check out the link below, check out our CRM. I like to say it's made by solar pros for solar pros like yourself, right? So make sure that you set that up. The next thing is uh, training, right? And again, this could go hand in hand, right? Uh, the next step is training because if you don't know how to close deals, right? It's going to be a really, really big problem for you, especially if, you know, your close rate is really, really low. You're, you know, you're going to leave a lot of money on the table. So I honestly feel that you need to invest in yourself, right? Like with Solar University, what we do is we train students that are just getting started or even more seasoned veterans. We teach them sales, we teach them marketing, we make that sword super sharp. Because we know when you're at the home, right, we need to be able to educate the homeowner to give them all the value about solar. And not only that, there are a lot of people getting in the solar industry, your sales sword has to be sharper than theirs. Or else you're probably gonna lose a lot of deals from your competition because uh, your mentality or mindset is, I'm gonna wing it. Right, I've been selling, uh, you know, uh, you know, cars for 25 years. Or I've been in sales for 30 years. Right, I got this. No, 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 no. Right, leave that. Obviously, you're gonna have. That's great to have those sales experience, but you're gonna have to leave that ego at the door, right? And learn from folks that are way ahead of you. Right, you want to be able to train from people that are way, way ahead of you in this solar industry, right? So you can cut your learning curve quickly because what, what uh, I've learned in this industry is first and foremost, even if you write, find the right company, there's gonna be like zero training, right? Uh, they may give you a script, may role play with you once or whatnot, maybe do a ride along with you once and after that you're either gonna sink or swim, right? And it's up to you, I'm letting you know now, it's up to you to look for other training material other mentors other coaches to take you to the next level because if you really think about it you're probably training with folks that just got started last week right that doesn't really have any success in the solar industry either right and you don't want that right you don't want that i know you're you're smarter than that you want to be able to get the information or the training from folks that are way ahead of you right light years ahead of you so that's really really key as well right Next step is learn the software. Your company probably has a software, right? Learn how to use their design software. Learn how to uh, send out all of the uh, install agreement. Learn how to pre-approve the homeowners, right? Learn that like the palm of your hand because that's gonna be key because you don't wanna be sitting in a consultation. The homeowner says, yeah, I'm ready to move forward with solar and you don't know how to use the software, right? And again, you also don't wanna be working with a company that's, you know, you have to call the manager to send all the documents and things like that. You're gonna to have to call somebody to pre-approve the homeowner. You want to have full control so you can send out all the install agreements, sign the loan application, all with a couple clicks of a button, 
right? So make sure that you're learning the software uh, that the company is using and know it like the back of your hand, right? And lastly, right, leads. Make sure that you have a solid lead generation uh, source, right? What is the plan to generate leads? Because at the end of the day, that's gonna be the lifeline of your business, right? Because you wanna be successful, you have to do all these things step by step. And the last one is leads. Because if you don't have any leads, even if you're a great solar closer, uh, you're not gonna make any money, right? So my suggestion is first and foremost, learn how to hit the doors, right? Because I I'm a high advocate on online marketing, right? But again, online marketing takes time first and foremost, and it also takes money, right? Ideally, you're gonna probably spend about $5,000 a month to learn the strategies and probably invest about $2,000 a month on ad spend. So if you don't have at least $7,000 to get started, on a ad campaign online to run ads yourself, learn how to knock on doors, right? Because that way you're gonna be able to knock on doors absolutely free, right? That's what's great about knocking on doors, but again, there is a methodology on how to, you know, canvas, how to knock on doors, right? And then from there, if you follow these through step by step and take my advice, you will be successful, right? And the last thing that you do is, you're gonna wash, rinse, and repeat, right? And you're gonna do it over and over and over again. And if you're new in the solar industry, again, you have to have a solid mindset because it may take you a little bit of time to get things rocking and rolling, that's totally fine, but you're gonna have to have the mindset that I'm here for the long haul, right? Have that big vision. What is the vision, right? It's not just, you know, I'm knocking on doors right now, this thing sucks, right? What is the big vision, right? Are you here because you wanna change your family's life? Are you here because you wanna buy a new home, a new car, whatever that may be, right? Have a bigger vision. Yes, it is still a, a job, right? But it's an amazing, amazing opportunity as well, right? Uh, at the beginning, it is gonna take some work, it is gonna take some grind, it is gonna take some sweat equity, especially if you don't have the finances right now to like buy leads, right? Uh, because again, you're gonna spend at least $5,000 a month on either running ads yourself or buying leads, and if you don't have that, make sure that you leave your ego at the door and be like, you know what, I'm gonna go hit the streets, right? I'm gonna go knock on doors, because I know folks right now making multiple six figures a year and the only thing they do is knock on doors, right? It's possible, obviously, come up with an exit strategy from the doors, but again, that's where it starts, right? And this is the roadmap to your success. And if you want to get mentorship, right, especially if you're new in the industry, make sure you book your solar strategy causing me a pop-up right above this video. I highly, highly suggest it, right? Whether you take our mentorship with Solar University or you find a mentor, right? I highly suggest that you get trading from somebody that's way ahead of you, right? So they can, you know, cut your learning curve and they can show you things and give you their experiences so you don't have to go through them, right? So you can cut the learning curve quickly. So again, uh, if you're looking to close more deals or find a home or you want to get in the industry or maybe you have a company in the home, you know, based business and you want to scale, you want to start selling solar, Make sure you book your solar strategy call. There's gonna be a pop-up right above this video. Other than that, have an amazing day. Goodbye for now. Peace out.